Yeah, how you doing? Brothers in Christ. Uh, um, I wanted to hop on here right quick. And, you know, I was thinking, I was um, just thinking about myself and just reflecting and, you know what I'm saying, just sitting here, you know what I'm saying? And um, I was just thinking about the Lord and I feel like, you know what I'm saying? He went through all that. He went through all this. Of course, the Lord loves the Father. He's one, one in the Father, man. He was a king. If you, but if you think about it, he lived, he lived, he put himself through so much for us, right? He died. And everybody knows that. He died for you. He died for you. He bled for you. He was tortured and maimed. He had a crown of horns shoved in his head. You know what I'm saying? His guts were hanging out. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 was, he went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? And... I kind of came to the conclusion that he believed in us. And a lot of times, especially as you grow up and, to, and you get into the real world, you realize that a lot of those voices that cheer you on aren't there no more, you know? A lot of those voices that are very encouraging and, you know, aren't there always. So a lot of us who are believers learn to lean on God, learn to lean on Jesus for that. And I'm kind of learning he believed in us. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have died I don't feel like he wouldn't even came down here if he didn't believe. I know it's prophecy, of course, yeah. I'm just saying, like, if you think about it, his last, when he was dying, his dying breaths, he died believing in you. He died believing in me for us to be great, for us to be his children. No, we're not perfect. He know, <laughs> he know all about us, but he died hoping to see us in heaven with him. He always encouraged us. He never said it was going to be easy. He never said... Oh, we weren't going to go through any persecutions. He never said so it was going to be hard. But he died believing. And he struggled with us. And he, and he walked with us. And he talked with us to show us that it's possible. To show us the good hope. You know? So, as you go out here and fight, you know what I'm saying? All of us fight our own battles with negative things in our life. All of us fight our own battles with things that happen in our life. And as you fight, man... You know what I'm saying? Fight. Don't fight for yourself no more. Don't fight because you're scared to go to hell. Don't fight. Don't fight because you're scared. God, you're going to lose it. Don't judgment. But fight because he believed in you. Fight with the intent that God is behind you. Fight temptation with the intent that God is with you and that Jesus is behind you. If you think about it, if you really imagine, use your imagination. If we all use our imagination right now. And thinking about you taking your last breaths. <laughs> like you fighting a bear. You just fighting something. And the thing you was trying to protect was able to get away. How happy would that make you? You had to fight. You have to fight right now, right? This is you. It, it is no possible option. There's no way out. You. It's only, only you can do this, too. But the person you're trying to save is able to get away. And you believe that they can get away. You know that they can get away. And that's all he's kind of showing me is that he believes in me. He believes in you. He believes in us. And um, that's kind of the meditation he kind of showed me today. It's just, you know, he believes in me, man. If you don't, if you believe like me, who struggle with confidence and believing in yourself and you feel like, you know, you just get put down all the time, which half the time to be in your own head. You got all you got, man. You got all you need. And that's God, man. Jesus got you, man. You know what I'm saying? He believed in you before he died. And I'm just thinking about his last breath. He looked down at his disciples. You know what I'm saying? You know, he told Mary about, he told, told Mary, this is your son, this is your, you know what I'm saying, this is your mom. But I'm saying he died, but you know what I'm saying, looking at us. The last thing he was thinking about before he died was us. To the end, you know? So I, I I hope, you know what I'm saying, I hate when, I, I, I'm going to make him proud one day. If I ain't made him proud yet, I'm, I'm going to make Jesus proud one day. I'm going to continue to rep him, continue to love him, continue to push him forward. I kind of came to that conclusion that I got to show love to Jesus. That was the last message in the Bible. That corresponds, I read the whole thing from the Torah, to from, from the Tabernacles, to from Solomon, from David, from Adam and Eve. All the way to Jesus, all the way to how you know what I'm saying, all the you know what I'm saying, all the way through. I don't know was I know it wasn't necessarily in order and all that, but 
the last lesson I learned, the last thing that corresponds to this time is Jesus, man. That he's he that we have a good hope that you don't have to be perfect down here for God to love you. You can be hurt, you can be bruised, you can be scarred, you can be broken, and God will still love you, and you can still go to heaven, and that you still have a home. You're not alone. You'll never be alone, you know? So that's kind of what my meditation been been today. Um, I love you guys, man. I, I know I don't upload all the time, and I be trying to do things on my own, and you know, but I'm still working behind the scenes. I ain't gave up. I'm not going to give up on this channel. You still watch the channel, man. Hey, I appreciate you so much. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to keep going. If the, and if the channel does grow, I won't forget about you. You know? I don't know. I don't know if I could be able to type your name in there, but I'll try to probably memorize the people that were here. But I can't be show favors because Jesus don't show favors. But I just want to, I just want to shout out Jesus, bro, and say that he believed in you. That's what it's about. Ain't about nothing else. Jesus, before he died, he died believing in you. He died believing that you could do it. Believing that you could accomplish all the things that you want to. Believing that you can make it to heaven. So you know what I'm saying? Don't let don't let that don't let don't if you if Jesus believes in you, if God believes in you, why can't you, man? So hope you guys have a great man. Hope you guys have a great um afternoon or evening. Or night or morning, depending on whenever you're watching this. And um, you have a blessed day in Jesus' my name. Amen.